Hello everybody, today I'm gonna teach you how you can handle to the corner. Uh, just like the when black has one more move here, we have to invade into the black's territory. Uh, last time, for this shape, I taught you most of the time white is using this move, right? But that was the different situation. Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you. If black has a, just like the low Chinese move, then usually if white doesn't really play here, and black can even pincer, then when white save at the corner, and this Joseki is gonna be super uh, strong for outside for black. And even this life and that is gonna be the call. So most of the time I recommend you to play this move, and black white can just keep trying to make the base easily. And even of course AI, I told you the AI suggests us to play many times just approach and AI is keep handling at the center. But according to follow the just normal logic, it's quite difficult to handle. So that last time I recommend you to play here in such kind of a situation. Uh, but uh, today that I'm gonna teach you is the, a bit different situation. There is a white stone. And uh, if you really want to break black's territory, I can even say white can try to play here. And because you know now there is a white stone, uh, this is not gonna be work. If white just separate, the black doesn't have a control. And then if like just try to answer at the corner, then now this is much better than white to just play here. You know, if like just try to get the corner and then white has to defense one more time, and you can just compare. The territory part is a big difference if white just plays it as the uh, same as just now. And in the future, white can even attach here. Black cannot really play here. After this, there is a super amazing test one more time, white can attach here. Have you seen this one before? Yeah, you can break a black's territory very, very easily. If black just uh, set inside, then you can just catch up the timing and try to exchange everything and break something like this. And then if black just try to play outside, then you can just honey here. And then now cutting is gonna work. Yeah, just like here, and you can just go up to the center. And even black just attack here, you can catch up these two stones. So I can say when you attach here, then you can break a black's territory easily. So now most of the time black has to connect, right? which means in the future this is your benefit. So uh, I can say when you are thinking to break a black's territory, then when your one more friend is here, then you can just even play here. Yeah, this is a bit different than that I told you. The situation is a bit different. But of course, according to follow the AI, then the AI is keep telling us this is not good because AI knows that how to handle influence perfectly. And, uh, you know, if black wants to get the outside in this situation, then normally black can just use this one. And then white to attach one more time, then white can invade to 3-3, and white has to answer one more time. This is a normal Jose gate that we know. And most of the time we were thinking white is better, because white break black's territory perfectly. But nowadays the menu logic was changed, and AI knows that how he can use this influence perfectly and he can just keep trying to touch here and try to handle the upper side then you can see that this color is quite good for black and in the future the white has to spend one more move to in, uh, reduce black's territory that is the reason why black is not bad but uh, yeah let's just follow the AI move first and AI is showing us such kind of move and before, you know, we just get to count with mathematics. We can't count perfectly for our potential. And after this, you know, in the local area, if white has to answer here, somehow white is very concentrated. And if white just jump here, then even now I can say, and at least the black can use the some end game in the future, not right now. It can make white thicker. And however, even more black can think about the invade, and many things is not really efficient. But AI can, uh, he knows that how he can handle the center. He just even used the shoulder. It can make white go perfect. Somehow black just spent one move here. Already white gets some potential here. And if black just try to invade here and the white just jump, even the black can break here, the white to remove to the upper side. So this is the AI form. Yeah. But of course, uh, you guys might feel a bit difficult. Even, you know, this is quite difficult to understand for professional player. But of course, now the professional player, they understand what AI suggests. So they are keep using. But uh, when we are around the middle level, even though just like the Taijam 7 Dan, 5 Dan, still it's quite difficult to understand. So I even have to teach you the, those form. AI form, how they are using efficiently. And yeah, even I show you the variation, sometimes it might be a bit difficult. Yeah. 
So another form is like just the transitional form. So I can say even there is reason to study this kind of move. Yeah, because you know the when we play with the AI, uh, sorry, when we play with the human, then it doesn't mean human can handle perfectly like AI. <laughs> so now the this is also available when you have a one more friend here. This is what I want to tell you. And if like just answer however at the corner, then now your territory balance will be much better than other method. Yeah, and if you are. Uh, if you just want to protect the territory when you handle the black, I can recommend you to play here. But if you really want to follow the AI form, you can use the this one or here. Even this is also available. Just however, let white to save at the corner and you can try to handle the outside potential. But this is gonna be very, very difficult. Yeah. So the, it depends on your level. If you are confident to, to follow the AI form, then you can keep use those method. And if you want to just uh, uh, use the normal form, I want to get the territory first and I want to play slowly, stable way. Then you can just keep playing like this. Yeah. This is also, I can't say you made a mistake. That this is also okay. Yeah. So there is, I just want to say if white has one more move here, then I can say this is available and this is not going to be suitable. Yeah, because you shouldn't be confused between black is here, however here, yeah, this time it's going to be confused to, uh, uh, sorry, it's going to be suitable to use when you reduce the black's territory in at the right hand side. But now if white is here, then this is not going to be the suitable. This is not efficient move. Yeah. So you have to choose this one, all right? You understand, right? Yeah, because the, uh, even if I made a lecture with some topic, I'm afraid that sometimes the, if the situation is a bit changed, then you have to use the totally different method. Actually, all the time is like that. So the, um, yeah, so this is what I want to tell you. And today I can introduce you one more interesting move. This is not gonna be the tricky, just the, when I teach you the tricky, I don't mean you have to use such kind of method. Actually, it's a really bad habit. Just if your opponent to use the tricky move, then you have to know how to punch him. So that is the reason I, I'm teaching you such kind of move. Please don't misunderstand. Okay? And now there is such kind of interesting move. And somebody asked me how Black has to respond. Yeah. And he said that it was quite annoying. So he lost all the corner. That's why I'm teaching you, okay? So now the basically, what's your first feeling? Now I want to play here. This is not my first feeling. And if like just uh, white just try to play strange here, somehow this is also gonna be okay. Now the black's influence is also quite good. But of course, white is also not bad. Yeah, but white has a better move than this one. White can decide to play the wedge and black has to step back here and then try to save at the corner. And now you know black has a cutting point and this is better because white made one more weakness and black must connect. Oh, I can say this is better for white. The reason why for the life and that in the future the black can try to bother white with attachment and white has the honey and for this life and that is also quite difficult. And now the if white just uh, the, uh, the honey here and the black has to block here and this is not a direct call if white just attack here it's gonna be the direct call and white can't connect you know like white is just captured but white has a method how white can handle white can just stretch here and this is called the uh, 10,000 call in Korean and Japanese and maybe Chinese as well yeah which means the black can't capture and just connect it's gonna be sticky and in order to capture this group the black has to keep around one time two times and then black can eventually get in the call, but what we are not sure even we can even we can win this call or not. Already white goes to the big place for two times. So now the uh, this call is not possible to handle right now. Just in the end game, they have to try to keep handle. But the point is even white can't uh, capture these three stones right now, and even white can't connect here. That's why this call, such kind of a call is quite difficult to handle. The main point is when white plays until now, uh, I can say white lived around more than 70%, alive at about 70%. But cannot say like that, but uh, this is a maybe easy way how I can make you to understand. So which means black can't capture the white. So um, I can say the black even lost to the sente and even black cannot capture the corner. So this time, this is really not good. Then what about the black just trying to cut here? If white just trash here, 
Hmm, somehow black has to capture, then even the white just make the Atari here, then even this is gonna be good for white, and white to restrict a lot of black's territory, and even white is very thick. And if you want, even capturing this one stone is gonna be okay for white. Now somehow black is too concentrated, now it's not really good. White is much much better. So however, if we give this kind of uh, those two cutting point, you know now black is in trouble two ways. It's not gonna be good for black. So now um this is like a trap. We shouldn't get in here. The how you can respond? Then however you have to think about to catch up the sente. So you can just step back here. Step back is the best method how you can solve this uh, this situation. Then now white has to try to have a nice move and black has to respond something like this and in order to save this group i can say white has to do that yeah if black just keep try to catch the white you know when you are uh, bothering the life and death that is possible but main point is uh, uh, black is not re ready to capture this white group um, at least if black just try to honey and just stretch at the first we have to check this letter i didn't read this letter carefully and the second, even the ladder doesn't work, then white can try to capture this one stone. Here, black made many bad exchange. So even though black gets some potential, I think the white is gonna be okay if there is exchange like that. So it's a really big difference. There was bad exchange already or not. So I can say black was not really ready to capture. So black was to step back here. Uh, maybe Kone is normal and then white has to save but different thing is that now you are gonna use the sente just you can keep stay at the upper side and it's gonna be okay yeah just like you know even though white is just try to invade to 3-3 three, three right, right now actually we can't capture always we just need to let him save just like here even the white Kone here then we have to let him save here actually it's not easy to capture because there is even Aji as well so when he tried to save here, then normally we have to use the potential and try to get something else. Yeah, this is how we are doing. So just, uh, I can say when white used such kind of a tricky um, invasion, um, but you know, we shouldn't look down when we are getting such kind of move. And no need to be mad with even though you are getting the such kind of a tricky move that you didn't have information. Just try to uh, think about it yeah and when you get enough power enough muscle to serve such kind of situation then always you can enjoy to play yeah but I can be sure when I I never get such kind of move in my actual game but I'm quite sure when black plays here white I can calculate until now actually I'm gonna read until here and I will just judge whether white is available or not and if I told you, I, if I don't like it, then um, then I try to use the something else. Even stretch here and try to step back here. Uh, if this situation is different, then even we can use here. Yeah, even this is also okay. Uh, somehow white can just keep trying to save at the corner or something like this. But I told you that even, you know, if you really want to capture here, but right now it, it's not gonna work if white just keep try to goes out then when you cannot catch up the white and it's gonna be very horrible result and even potential is not gonna be very thick so now you can just uh, accept him to save at the corner with tiger's mouth and when he saved that then it's gonna be okay for black now saving position is so slow that white is a good day mm, so now uh, I can just tell you the one logic simply, then you can understand perfectly. Uh, most of the time, when we have a nice move, then if white get in here, then you have a uh, information that it's gonna be the call, right? Then black cannot really capture. And if black doesn't have a cost threat, then normally black can just handle with the tenoki and then looking for in the future and just trying to tidy here right now. And then when white save that, then we are just going to the other place. Then black's potential is much better. That's why the, even the white can save at the corner, then we don't do that because it's so small. But if this is the large knight move, then normally we have a reason to play the 3-3. Three -three. Because now the one line is far away than here, then if white just try to keep save at the corner, the point is the white can catch up the sente. That is the reason why we can play at the 3-3. Three -three. So which means that, you know, there is a one exchange to something like this. Yeah. Just now this was black sente, but now the black spent one more move. So even the white paid this one bad exchange, so now I can just play. 
Uh, that means really uh, center is very important. Yeah. So now the it depends on situation. Corner might be bigger and corner might be slower. And uh, sorry, corner might be bigger, corner might be smaller. So the um yeah. Okay. So I can say the such kind of a tricky move. Then I can just simply tidy for you. Then you can just play here and let him save at the corner and try to get the influence and try to handle about that your center. Your center will be more than twenty point. And use that way. So now the uh, one more time tidy up. When you have a one stone, if you want to get, if you want to break the corner, then I can recommend you to use this one. But if black is here, then you can try to break with this method, and it's gonna be better. And when black wants to get the corner, then you can try to make the base. Maybe even even black one stone was the sorry the upper one. Then you can try to use the three space jump and try to handle and. This is gonna be better method, and then um, if you really want to follow the AI form, if your level is like very strong level, like over than Taiju eight dan and seven dan, and I want to try, then you can just keep use this this such kind of method, and when you answer and try to use here, just like for this kind of potential is very difficult to explain, and normally strong player when they see the AI move, actually they understand, <coughs> but main point is the. Uh, many times we can't find out by our by ourselves. Just when we see, understand, but it's really difficult to find out by ourselves. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, that is really I can say the why AI is the god. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching my video. Then see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.